All right, today we're going to do lesson 60, which is polygons. And um, polygons, uh, if you don't know what they are, they are uh, shapes. Um, but they have a specific uh, definition. Closed, that's part of it. They have to be closed. Flat shapes, so it can be flat, can't be three-dimensional. And they have straight sides. So let's go ahead and make a checklist. So if we're going to try to determine if a shape is a polygon, you have to uh, make sure that it is, number one, closed. So if everything on this checklist is checked off, that means the shape is a polygon. Um, two, let's say flat. And um, the last uh, part of this is the shape has to have straight sides. So, um, let's draw a shape. Uh, let's do... There's our shape. Okay. Um, let's go down our list of criterion. So, is this shape closed? If we can check this off, that means it might be a polygon. It is definitely not closed. So, eh, that is not a polygon. Let's try a different shape. Let's close. Let's do the same shape. I guess I didn't need to erase it. Let's close it this time. Okay, cool. Now you've closed it. Is this straight flat? Um, yeah, it is flat. It's not a three-dimensional object. So bang. But does this have straight sides? And eh. This side right here is curved. It is not a straight side. So that is not a polygon. Okay, let's do a different shape. Here's a shape. And... Okay, a little box. Is this shape closed? Yes, it's closed. There, you can't, there aren't any open sides. It, the, are all the sides straight? Yes, all the sides are straight. But is this flat? No, it is not flat. It is a three-dimensional uh, shape. It seems as if it's coming off the whiteboard here. So, eh, that is not a polygon. All right, so let's go ahead and fulfill all three of these criterion to draw a polygon. Straight, straight. Imagine these lines are perfectly straight. All right, so is this closed? Yes, check. Is it flat? Yes, check. Um, does it have straight sides? Yes, check. Okay, so this uh, square would be a polygon square. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about some different types of polygons. This would be a square. All right, let's go ahead and talk about um, some polygon, some different types of polygons. Here's a polygon. It is flat. It is closed. Make sure it's closed up there all the way, and the sides are straight. Okay, this is a three-sided polygon. It is known as a triangle. Now, there are different types of triangles. Um, one type of triangle, if all sides are equal, like this one right here, shown by these little tick marks, okay, that means all sides are equal. That is called an equilateral triangle. Equal meaning the same, lateral meaning side. I mean, all sides are the same. All right, a different type of polygon is uh, called a quadrilateral. Quadrilateral has four sides. So this rectangle would be a quadrilateral. Now, if we're talking about a very special type of rectangle, a rectangle that has all sides that are equal, um, um, it would be called a square. A square is a special type of rectangle. And what's special about it? It, it has all sides, all sides are equal. So I guess you could say uh, equilateral rectangle would be a square. Okay, pentagon. A pentagon is a five-sided polygon, all right? Um, it is closed, it is flat, and it has all straight sides. Let's talk about a couple more. All right, let's go ahead and talk about some different types of um, polygons. These are both closed, flat, and they have straight sides. A, a polygon that has six sides is called a hexagon. Um, a polygon that has eight sides is called an octagon. And the most famous octagon that we know is a stop sign, okay? When a red octagon says stop on it, you guys know what that means. 
All right, um, let's do one problem, and then that's pretty much today's lesson. All right, so I have an octagon right here, and I'm told that this is a regular octagon. All right, what does a regular octagon mean? Well, anything that re is regular, um, if, it, and if we're talking about math terms, mathematically, the word regular means all sides are equal. So I'm going to use little tick marks to show that all sides of this octagon are equal. If it were irregular, that means one of the sides would not be equal to the other sides. Okay, so this uh, rec regular octagon, um, the perimeter is equal to 96 inches. Now if you added all the sides, it would equal 96. Now if you wanted to find the length of one of the sides, you would simply divide 96 by however many sides are on the um, polygon. In this case, on the regular polygon. In this regular polygon, which is an octagon, octa, it means eight. Just like octopus, eight arms. Octagon is eight sides. All right, so we're gonna take 96, and we're gonna divide it by eight. Okay, um, and we know that 8 will go into 96 12 times, because 12 times 8 is 96. No remainder. Okay, so one side of this polygon is going to be 12 inches. Hopefully that made sense. Um, hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. I'm making this video on the weekend if you're wa watching it during the week. Hope you have an awesome week. All right, talk to you guys on Monday.